Hello AOS fans, Robin here, back once more with a Road to the Grand Clash piece for you. Just a quick one today, my preparations are uh, heating up, we're, um, we're nearly there, not far off now from the, the day I've got to make a decision on what warband and uh, actually decide what to, when, well, not what to take. I've decided what to take and then work furiously on that to try and get it as good as possible before the crash arrives. But before that, I want to talk about uh, an interesting thing and that is the card of Rebound and should you take it or shouldn't you take it now i'll say from the top of this obviously it's entirely up to you whether you take rebound and there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't but i have seen a few people say um you know it's just not a nice card and i don't want to take it one of those most notably was davy uh, the grand clash in adepticon he mentioned that in one of his podcasts uh, i think what the hex podcast and um i've seen a couple other people mention it that the guy who won adepticon didn't take it because um, he doesn't like it as a card. Now, there are two sides to this discussion. There is the fact that is Rebound itself a good card? It only has a, a one-third chance of operating uh, when somebody is killed by a hefty attack. It's w well worth using. It's only got a one-third chance of uh, operating, so you most of the time, if it's in a in a two-match game, taking isolation, most of the time you won't see it. Uh, in a three-match game, I guess you've got more chance. Um, you know, there's, it will probably come up in one or three of your, your games. Now, the thing with Rebound is it can be massively swingy, and I've talked about this before with the swing cards, um, but it, it, it can mean, if you play Molog or something like that, it can be the difference between winning or losing. A big attack sprung back on Molog, and um, it's not quite game over, but it could, it could be game over, a rebound attack. And... That's that in itself, um, there's nothing particularly wrong with that, except it's a horribly negative player interaction, I think. I mean, it's not negative in the sense that it's boring, it's not like hogging in the back of the back line and not having having any, uh, be able to get to your opponent, so it's basically it's a non, that's non-player interaction where there's not, not really any interaction that's boring. But rebound actually is quite negative, and yeah, I know it's in the rules, and yes, you can play it, and so there's absolutely, because it's at the top, there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't play it, or necessarily you shouldn't feel bad about it. Uh, but, you know, if, if you're playing somebody in this game and you get hit by a rebound, it never feels great. Last chance is bad enough uh, when you manage to get, get an attack off and they dodge it. That's bad enough. But rebound, you've managed to get your attack. Could be you've you've fought hard to get into that position, and and then somebody plays rebound on you, and you know, it's uh, that it does it feels horrid, and I'm not saying that that's a reason not to play it. I, I suppose I sort of am saying that, uh, but it's one of the few interactions in this game that I think is actively negative. Uh, and actually leaves a sort of bit of a nasty taste in your mouth um, when it happens to you, and even when even when you deliver it, because uh, you know most of the game is like a strategic tussle, and uh, sometimes dice rolls go against you, and that's bad. Uh, and other times, you know things go well for you, and that's great, and that leaves, obviously it, it can be bad for your opponent if, most particularly if their dice rolls aren't working. Though Pete and I have both been on the end of games where the, the dice rolls are just do you over every time, um, and you know that doesn't feel nice. But this rebound. I don't know. It just it just leaves it leaves a nasty taste, and I'm sort of at the point where I'm thinking of taking it. Obviously, you know, I'm thinking of taking either the eyes or the hunt. Both of those are pretty fragile, and therefore people like to be taken out fairly easily. So, rebound is a card that I'm going to be playing if I have it in my deck. It's good. I'm likely to be playing it in most games, assuming it comes out. And so, therefore, you know, maybe two, one, one, one in three games, or it'll be, it'll it'll come off. And I suppose I'm just left wondering, well, should I play it? I don't really want to see that crestfallen look on my opponent's face uh, when I put out rebound. On the other hand, uh, it is a serious, it is a, a useful tool to have um, when you when you go to the Grand Clash, especially if you're playing one of these more fragile warbands, it can be, well, you know, actually, yes, you've killed me, but now I'm going to do a little bit of damage back, or indeed you wouldn't even have killed them in rebound, but yes, you know, yes, you're, you're smashing me off the pitch, but uh, I'm going to do a little bit of damage back. So I'm not quite sure, I'm a bit, I'm, I'm, I'm ambivalent about rebound at the moment, it's on my sort of one of, it's not, it's not a definite in, it's not a definite out, it's kind of like, shall I take it? There are definitely game reasons not to take it, as well as game reasons to take it. I'm not sure it's effective enough to warrant inclusion, but I do see it in a lot of, in a lot of uh, decks when I look at the tournament decks and then there's also this kind of negative experience I don't want anybody to play with I'd rather I'd rather lose uh, I think that, that give somebody a, a really horribly negative um, kind of player experience at least that's what I'm saying now in the in the cold light of day in the or, or not in the cold light of day in the fluorescent strip light of the uh, Grand Clash Hall um, I might feel a little bit differently but there you go so I'm just musing about rebound today let me know what you think guys 
Uh, would you take it? Do you take it? Uh, do you not take it because of uh, uh, sort of respect for your opponent, or is that just naive and a, a, a daft thing to say? And if you're playing the uh, world's most competitive miniatures combat game, um, do let me know what you think. And um, we'll speak in the comments below. And the Grand Clash is ever is coming ever closer. So hopefully, Pete and I will see you there soon. Bye.